I'm Simon Chapman from Lancaster, England, and uh, we're in China trying to go up, walk up the Burmese border in a mountain range called Galagong Shan. I've got a fair amount of experience with this sort of thing, but not in China. We've got Dave, who's usually behind the camera. He lives in China at the moment, so he's, uh, I suppose he translates for me. We've got Alang, who's a redoubtable Chinese explorer who knows Yunnan and knows Tibet and things quite well, as far as I know. And we've got Ian, um, who's along for, along for the ride and trekking with us. What we've done is we've flown here, flown to Peking, and then flown on to Kunming, which is the capital city of Yunnan, the southwest province. Then we've got eight hours of bus. And the really interesting bit started when we immediately got off the bus at Baoshan, the town near the border, and we, got, we hired a, a taxi minibus. Immediately we were off the highway. Um, the highway, in fact, was under construction, so uh, we had to literally drive off it and drive down muddy tracks and virtually getting bogged down uh, and stopping every once in a while while construction crews are busy trying to dig things up. Eventually we got down to the Nuzhang River. Nuzhang's got this fantastic gorge. It's only crossed in a few places, but people go across on zip lines. But the, the bridge across there was quite the thinnest bridge I've ever seen. It was just some metal wires with sort of like uh, steel planking laid across. We drove across that and we continued up the Nuzhang Valley um, until we hit a landslide. And at that point, we, the, the guy, the driver, said maybe four kilometers ago so we took everything out and we we just walked uh, there was another landslide and we just walked and walked and walked it was fairly hot but it was on a road and we got to this village behind us are the mountains of galagong shan and we've got a very very old guide a 79 year old guide who's going to take us up and sort of wreckage, see what the jungle's like, spend a couple of nights out there, maybe hammock under the night, look for monkeys, look for the jungle stuff, just get used to the jungles, carry, carry fairly light packs. The idea is then, in a couple of days' time, we will climb over Gaolagong Shan and we will trek to a town called Cheng Chong. And then in the longer term, we will carry on back into Gaolagong Shan and carry on following the Nuzhang River and the Galakong mountain range and we'll follow it north, maybe about 100 or 150 kilometers, then start trekking again. And by that time, we're starting to really get quite Himalayan. So we'll have moved really out of the jungle into Himalayan foothills. I mean, this is Himalayan foothills, but this is hot and jungly. But then we'll be starting to go more into, into what you think of somewhere like Nepal or northern India, eventually ending up somewhere near Tibet. But as Tibet's out of bounds, not going into Tibet itself. <laughs>